Leviathan by Scott Westerfield. This book is an alternate retelling of World War I if steampunk engines were widespread across the empires. Alexander is one of the main characters that plays the heir to the throne of the Austro-Hungarian Empire. And uh, Darren Sharp is a girl dressed up as a boy to join the British Royal Air Force. Okay, this is it. Time to show him your man book. Shoulders back, chest high, feet apart, head up, and strut! Two. Those are the two main perspectives of the book. And the fun part of reading the book is you know they're going to cross in some way, in some form, but you don't know when or how. So I actually really enjoyed reading this book because I didn't know what was going to happen and the characters were fun and interesting as it rolled along. The steampunk aspect was really well done. This is the, the steampunk element that I was craving. Inter interesting machines, interesting ideas, and, and the way that it, inter that it interplays with the characters and the storyline. This hit my steampunk appetite very well. As a side note, this book taught me the difficulty of action in a book because it's a steampunk novel, certainly, but it's also an action novel at its core. The problem with action in the book is the more action that's happening, the more there is to describe, and the more description that you have in a book slows down the pace. So you need to describe a lot with a really few words, so you have to make sure that it's moving fast and that you, the reader can still picture what's happening. I admit that at a lot of points in this book, I knew there was a big action thing happening and there was, there was something going on and I couldn't quite piece it together, but I just kind of kept going and it resolved, <laughs> even though I couldn't exactly play it in my head like a movie. Maybe if I were reading it more slowly and really digesting every bit of description, I don't know. But it worked for me because the rest of the book works. So overall, I give this a four out of five stars. If you have any other recommendations, especially steampunk recommendations, uh, leave them in the comments below.